I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to that stuff. What's up everybody, this is Scott and welcome back to another video. I am so sorry that I missed last week, but I was so sick again. This has been the worst winter season for me. Constantly sick. If you follow my Twitter, which I will leave right here. Here? Here. Here. Let me leave it right here. You'll find out that I had some misfortune when it came to my fever and some other parts of me as well. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about what today's video is going to be. There are some of those folks that are out there that talk about automation is sitting down and punching the keys furiously, entering in miles and miles of code. That's not for me. I'm not that smart. Really what I'm looking for is more like automation for dummies. Yeah. Like I said, it sounds like you need miles and miles of code, but actually all you need is something called if 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 something that's called if this then that IFTTT for short. If is a simple automation solution that you can use right now on Android, iOS, on your laptop, anywhere that you can get to the internet, is really gonna help eliminate that confusion and automate some of life's most simple tasks. So let's think about this. Can you think of a time where you thought, gee, you know, it would be super nice if I could just be automatically told this thing and I didn't have to go actually out and look for it, where it just gives me the information that I need without me really thinking about it. That's what If This Then That helps you come up with. So why is this thing awesome? It helps you connect two services together that wouldn't normally talk, say, the weather outside, and your cell phone. Those two things don't normally wanna to talk to each other when it comes to me holding my phone out in the rain, but maybe you want some type of notification when it says, hey, this is what the weather forecast is, don't forget to get your umbrella before you walk out the door. If this then that can give you that notification without learning one single solitary line of code. So before we dive into the app, let's talk about some of the basic lingo. So let's talk about applets first. These are the items that you're going to create. Think of this as a recipe, now moving on to services. Those are those different items that you're going to connect to do things. Think about connecting your Google account, your social media accounts, news services. There's a ton of different services that are out there that you can connect to and get the service to work. The next part we want to talk about is triggers. The easiest way to remember a trigger, it is the this part of the applet. So when we say if this, then that, a trigger is the this part. It's an item that makes the action happen. I pull the trigger the action occurs. That's essentially a one way to think about it. And of course the action itself, this is the that part of the equation. So if this, which is a trigger, then that, the action occurs, this is the output or the creation of that applet. Let's go back to that weather notification that I talked about and put this into practice. Let's say that I wanna get a notification before I leave for work and I leave around the same time every morning. Well, what I wanna do is make sure that I put a if this then that applet together to give me some type of notification so I know how I should prepare in terms of weather before I leave the house. So if the forecast calls for rain, then text me at seven o'clock in the morning that I should bring an umbrella. If the forecast calls for snow or below 30 or below whatever some number that you may want it to be, then tell me to grab a coat, an umbrella, a warm drink, whatever it is, that's the that part of the equation. The nice thing is that this can work with Google Home and Amazon Alexa, but let's talk about Google Home for a second because that's what I have. Remember the Philips Hue light video that I talked about a few weeks ago? Well, the nice thing about If This Then That, they have this thing where I can create my own personal light show where the lights change colors and I don't have to do anything. It just automatically cycles through color change. There is an applet out there where if I were to say, okay, party time, the lights will go crazy and change all sorts of colors. Second, you're welcome for me not saying, okay. And like I mentioned, if this then that works across a bunch of different platforms, Android, iOS, and even online at ifttt.com, and I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below. So that's it, that's all I have for my introduction to kind of more automation with if this then that. Again, go out there, hit up the app stores, wherever you can find it, try the app. Let me know what your favorite applet is. I am always down to try some new applets. Leave a comment below with your favorite applets. I'd love to give them a shot. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment below, and I will see you guys next week.